Calling all doctors in training. The way your education and training costs are funded in England is changing. Your salary, study leave allowance and other related costs are all affected. Before April 2014, deaneries managed the funding for all doctors in training in England from a central pot known as the Multi-Professional Education and Training Levy, MPET. It was worth almost £5 billion and it covered much of the training costs for all health professionals, including students. Most of that was paid to local education providers, LEPs, such as hospital trusts or GP surgeries to cover their costs for training you. Some of those costs were agreed nationally, such as salary replacement, the proportion of your basic salary covered by the deanery. For F1 doctors, that proportion was 100% of their basic salary. For F2s, it was 50%. The remaining costs were agreed locally between the deanery and the LEP. Based on local need, they specifically funded study leave, educational staff, libraries, information services and study budgets. How much each deanery received depended on the number of doctors they were training, with additional amounts based on historical precedent. So some deaneries received a lot of funding, others were less well off. This gave deaneries some control over their spending, but it was not a fair system. The system changed on the 1st of April 2014. Health Education England, or HEE, is now in charge of the education and training of all healthcare professionals in England. It has the same £5 billion budget, the HEE budget, but with more demands. It must now pay for the new national projects and the remainder gets split between local education and training boards, or LETBs, which absorb the work of the deaneries. LETBs are like HEE. They are multi-professional and make spending decisions at a local level, including decisions about your education and training. Right now, the funding to each local area remains largely unchanged. Funding at LETB level is now budgeted into five broad streams to reflect the wide range of training needs for all healthcare professionals. These are future workforce, workforce development, nationally hosted programmes, education support, running costs. Future workforce and education support are the two funding streams that pay for your training post in the local education provider your employer. Hospital training posts since April 2014 have been funded differently. The LETB pays for this by a nationally agreed tariff. Whatever level you're at, this tariff includes 50% of your basic salary plus a placement fee. For primary care, the way posts are funded hasn't changed yet. The placement fee is new. It rolls together almost all the direct costs of training into a single amount of money paid to employers. This is currently the same for every hospital employer in England. The placement fee is based on research by the English Department of Health, which gives the approximate cost of training the average trainee. It also helps keep hospital finances as stable as possible. Over time, the single placement fee we have at present will change. HEE is working on a new framework called EDQUIN, to incentivise up-to-date practice and innovation by linking a proportion of the fee to the delivery of training targets. This will require careful management to avoid destabilising training and safe patient care. Let us know if there's a change in your study budget, your library facilities, any other aspect of your training or in any aspect of patient care, especially if you think it could be due to the change in funding. The Junior Doctors Committee is a leading voice for trainees to HEE and can help influence spending in the future.